In this video, we will continue with an exam style question. You will find this on page 543 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Find, and I must integrate sin x minus cos x squared. So always, as soon as I see squared, write the brackets two times or just square the first one, multiply with each other, so it's negative sin x cos x, multiply two, and that's where I get that, and square the last one. Okay. Otherwise, uh, if you struggle, then write the two brackets out and just multiply it. Okay, and then if I simplify, don't, don't forget, sin squared x plus cot squared x is 1. Okay, then I get this. And then don't forget also, that's also, that's the reverse of the double angle. Can you remember the rule? I showed you in the three, uh, previous video. So, and then it's sin 2x. And now I can go and I can go and integrate. So, oh, this is indefinite. This is why I don't write anything. So it's going to be x. Then it's going to be, it's going to be negative cos, but the half. And then that becomes a positive. And that's how I do it. So it's indefinite integration. Okay. Then, use the trapezium rule with two intervals to estimate the value of this, giving your answer correct to three decimal places. Okay. Now, can you remember? Uh, we always said this is A, this is B. So A, B, and how many intervals did they say? Um, there they said 2, so N is 2. I uh, work out this and I get 1 over 8. Why? So you start basically at A. Okay, so that is A. Now if it's 0, it's actually easy. But this one's a bit more that you have to think. So you start at A, and then every time you add this. So if you have a quarter pi and you add 1 over 8 pi, then it's basically times 2 times 2. So it's 3 over 8. Do you see? 3 over 8 pi. Okay. And then you add again 1 over 8 pi. Okay. And that will be 4 over 8 pi, which will then be the half. And that's how you get your, your x values. Now, how do you get your y values? Now, I think if I reprint, I will make this a little bit easier or show you a little bit. Because to press this on the calculator, uh, it's possible. I remember when I started teaching in 1992 uh, in the technical school in Windhoek, I showed the students how to press this. But now I, I would rather say, do this. This is... I would rather just say, press it like this. So if you're going to, I'm just going to say in this one, it's 1 over sin, and then I'm going to say a quarter pi. Now, don't forget, I didn't even write it also there. I must also make this note. Remember, if it's in pi, your calculator must be in radians. Okay, so make sure your calculator is in radians. And then you're basically just going to press, and I'm going to do this first one with you, make sure the R is there, otherwise go to your mode and get it correct. And then 1 divide sin and bracket, I would say 1 divide 4 multiply shift by close the bracket equals. And now they set correct to three decimal places. Wow. So I must go to four decimal places. One, two, three, four. And that's why it's 1.4142. And then I substitute. Just do it exactly the same. And I get this. This is uh, Y0, Y1, Y2. Okay. And then this is my trapezium rule. H over 2. What is H? It's that. And then remember double the middle one. And then... I just press this on the calculator, multiply this, and I get, remember, to three decimal places. Okay, the next one. Using a sketch on, um, of the graph of y equals cosec between x is zero and a half, okay, and then go explain whether this trapezium rule gives an underestimate or an overestimate. Now, in chapter 10, and I, I was showing it here to you, in chapter 10, 
I said in the summary, it's very important that you learn the basic sketches of sin as well as with their reciprocals, sin, cause, and tan as well as their reciprocals. So in this case, if I look at the cosec, there's the cosec. And, okay, don't forget, I didn't show, this is pi, so there will be pi over 2. And they said, okay, let's just go, so it's going to be there, it's going to be that part. Now, if you look at that part, you can see there I showed it to you, so that's going to be a concave. And if it's concave, then it's usually an overestimate. Because if you're then going to draw, you can see it's going, it's going to be a little bit over the lines. And that's an overestimate if you draw the trapeziums. Okay, so please, you have to learn this basic. Not very difficult, and it's going to be very helpful. I think in the last chapter, I also reflect back to this. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now 24. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number A. Use the trapezium rule for two intervals to estimate this. Now it's sick. Giving your answer correct to two significant figures. That's also an important part. Okay, so <clears throat> let's just going to write that first thing down, though I'm not doing it with integration. Okay, now out of this, I know that this is A, this is B, okay? So I can say A is zero, B is a quarter pi, and um, in, how many intervals is two? And then don't forget how to get its B minus A divide two. Oh, sorry, my pen. And that is going to be B. So it's going to be a quarter pi minus zero divide two, and that is going to be one over eight pi. Okay, more or less the same as we've got there. Okay, now I'm going to create a table. Okay. And then this is going to be x, and this is y. Okay, now first I must get my x values. Now luckily this one starts at zero, so you start there. Then I said add this. So it's actually going to be easy. It's just 1 over 8 pi. And if you add another 1 over 8, then it's going to be 2 over 8, but which is going to be a quarter pi. Now, remember, this is 0, this is 1, this is 2. Now, what is my formula? My formula is going to be y, there it is, is equal to sec x. And I said, don't work with it like this. That is equal to the third letter, 1 over cos x. And that is equal to 1 over cos 0. Luckily, cos 0, you can press it on your calculator, is 1. But my, that answer is just going to be 1. Then y is equal to 1 over cos 1 over 8 pi. And again, remember your calculator must be on radians. So say 1 divide um, cos bracket 1 divide 8 multiply shift uh, pi. Let's just see where's pi. Close the bracket equals. And now... Two significant, so I must go one more, three significant. So it's going to be 1.08. That's enough. And then the final one, I'm going to say y is equal to 1 over cos a quarter pi. Okay, so 1 divide cos bracket, 1 divide 4 multiply shift by close the bracket equals... And that's 1,41. And that's 1,41. Okay. Now I'm going to get my area. So I'm going to say the area. It's approximation, remember. Okay. So again, the formula is h over 2. And then it's going to be 0 plus 2, the middle. This is the middle. y1 plus the last, y2. Okay. 
And what is h? So it's 1 over 8 pi. Oh, sorry. Let's just get that correct. 1 over 8 pi divided by 2. And then it's 1 plus 2, 1.08, plus that 1.41. Okay. And now, if you want, you can first simplify this, and it's 1 over 16 pi. And if you want, you can even simplify that. If I simplify it, I got 4.57. And then you can say 1 divides 16, multiply shift by equals, multiply 4.57 equals. Now, I want to show it here to you. You're getting 0 0.8973. But they say two significant. So 1, 2, this one. But this 7 makes this a 10 and it moves. So it's 0 point, but you have to write that 0. Otherwise, they will penalize you because they say 2 significant, not 1 significant. So make sure you write that 0. Okay. And then I come to the last part. Determine by sketching the appropriate part of the graph whether the trapezium rule is given underestimate or overestimate. So if this is in your mind, then you, you know, okay, I'm, I'm at what graph? I'm at the sec. There it is. I know I'm actually, and if I want to, you can just make a rough sketch for you now. Okay, I'm here. Oh, I don't like it if it's not straight. Okay, so I know the sec one. So remember, this is pi. This is pi over 2. Okay. But this one, if I look here, was just a quarter. But it doesn't matter. It's, oh, I just want to get the pen correct. Okay. So remember, this is pi over 2. And remember, it starts at 1. So it's, it's just that little... Still, my pen is not correct. Okay, so it's going to move, but even if you just take that part, it's going to be a what form? Can you see? It's going to be a concave curve. So I will just go and say B, um, it is an overestimate due to the okay, you can also say something like that, as long as you say, okay, it's ours, you say from the diagram, it can be seen that the trapezium rule will give an overestimate since the top edges of the strips, trapeziums, all lie above the concave curve. So if you're going to draw your trapeziums there, the top edges will be above, and that's why it's in over estimate. Okay, that's how you do it.